um, is the sound from the computer. Like if I start the game, you're gonna have to let me know if the uh, game sound is any good. Uh, like I want you to be able to hear like a bit of it. Uh, so we're just gonna do like this, and it's starting. Oh, oh, this is great. I can have a screen resolution after this through that. And the graphics quality is set to dad, daddy, or daddiest. Now, dad is good. Don't mind a bit of daddy. Daddiest, I'm almost afraid. But you know, this is a game about like stepping out there, putting yourself out, doing the brave thing. <gasps> You hearing this? This music is a bop. Use your hips when throwing. Alright. I'm gonna see if I can do that in like the options menu later, like lowering the music. Should I try voice acting? I think I might try that. But it's gonna be weird if I do all the characters. I'm gonna have to like do like accents or stuff. Okay, let's do. So this is uh, the uh, the dad, right? I could just fall asleep in front of the camera and be like, I might do like a, like a spooky, scary RPG maker game for Halloween. If y'all would like that, if you'd like to watch that. I might. Don't thread me with a good time. I will. I will maybe deliver. But first, I will sleep. Dad. Dad, wake up. <laughs> uh, like if I had a. If I had a child, I do not have a child, but if I did, I would do this every single time. Except for the, like... I let my tongue roll out of my mouth and stop breathing. This is, this is dead dad, Lenore. Amanda is like 17, she can take some dead dad. I don't know, that seems unethical. Uh, but you are completely right, she can take it. Amanda shakes me. Rude. You should, you should, uh, like, pay some respects to the, to your elders and to the dead people, right? Just disrespectful. I'm gonna have a, I'm a real talk with you, Amanda. Come on, dad, this hasn't worked for me. Worked on me since I was six. Damn, man, are you gonna do me like that? I'm fine, I'm just trying to like keep the lights on of the lights of creativity and drama on, you know? I'm sorry, Amanda. This is the end for me. <sighs> Dad, I swear to God. Amanda, I bequeath to you all of my earthly possessions. Spread my ashes over my uh, recliner. Okay, well, your corpse better get into the moving van because it's leaving soon. Uh. I finally open my eyes and sit up. I'm lying on in the middle of the living room, spooning a moving box. I yawn and stretch. <sighs> Damn. <laughs> 
Look at Amanda, she looks disappointed in me. <laughs> maybe she's a bit, like... Maybe she wished I would have, like, developed a bit since she was six. <laughs> now she's 17 and I haven't grown at all as a person. Uh, you're stuck with me, I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. Amanda has the coolest t-shirts. Yeah, she's got a cool t-shirt. Kind of looks like she designed it herself. Like, overall, I really love Amanda's style. Like, if I could redo my, uh, like, youth years, like, 17, 20s, sort of like that, I would probably be like, okay, we're, we're doing this, like, Amanda Panda style. I also probably would be, like, the same amount of, like, Disappointed in my peers and superiors, though. Anyway! Gondor vibes, <laughs> yes. Yeah, it kind of looks like the Tree of Gondor. Now I'm just imagining, it, like, Amanda being like Faramir, being really disappointed in her dad. I'll try to be a better dad than Dinothor. I will eat my tomatoes in silence, uh, with no singing. And I will try to be very respectful towards your living situation. And I will not compare you to your dead sibling. This I pledge to thee, Manda Panda. You have a nice shirt. Amanda is Legolas. <laughs> what exactly about Amanda is Legolas? I can't see it. I'm sorry. Morning, Manda Panda. Oh, shit. Oh, f oh, you savage. You absolute savage. <laughs> Fjallbird just said when in, I was in my like 70-20s I looked like Shaggy. <laughs> it's true. I still do. Morning, Manda Panda. Should I do like, should I do the Shaggy voice? I can't do the Shaggy voice. Like, I have watched so little Scooby-Doo in my life, it's actually embarrassing. Like, the influx of Scooby-Doo memes, like when Shaggy was super powerful, like Ultra Instinct Shaggy, that's probably like the most influx of Scooby-Doo I've ever had in my life. It's very, um... I was Fred at a party once, wow. Fjallbrit, if you shaved, I could see that. If not, I could not. But yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. I did not. Morning, Manda Panda. I I'm not sure about the voice I'm supposed to do for for the uh, for our character, for, for our daddy, our little dead daddy. Uh, our dead dad. I'll figure it out. Ugh. Yikes, dad. D no, yikes, dad breath. Go brush your teeth. actually never seen Scooby-Doo. I think that's pretty common, like, around, uh, in, like, Sweden. Like, Scooby-Doo isn't that big of, uh, like, a cultural mark. Oh, okay, so we're gonna go to build that dad. I'm so not sure what I'm, I wanna do. I'd like to imagine, like, if I, in a different universe, was to be a dad in, like, it, about like 10 20 years I could be like a dad like if I got into like a serious relationship now and this and that child yeah about like 20 years like I, I'm gonna make like an older version of myself I think if I was a dad is the um, music uh, too loud now or is it good Make a himbo. I would be a I would be a himbo. Whoop. I'd get a thick binder bond. Because I kind of vibe with that. And if like like I, I've been kind of like jangly all my life, but like if I was to be a dad, I would get me a solid dad bot. Like you can't be a dad and not have like a good old-fashioned dad, but that just wouldn't work. 
I'm kind of pale. I think that one is good. Oh yeah, nice. Uh, yeah, it's a small detail, but it's actually very nice. They got like trans representation, like you could do like the uh, the uh, tank body, or they could have like a binder. So that's cool. Like obviously, I think like for my character, would probably like if I had tits, I'd probably get them removed if I was to be like a dad dad by by my 40s but like i like to pay respects to the fact that they did include it so i think that's nice i think that's nice oh what shape of head do i have and what would i have in 20 years okay i'm, I'm gonna do this heart head oval head round head square head Okay, absolutely not this one. I do not have the uh, the Chad Shin. I might have this one. I don't think I have this one. Once again, I'm not much of a Chad. I'm way more like a virgin. This looks like a baby. I kind of look like a baby. Round head, baby head. I like the baby head. My face a bit pointy. Oh, okay, I guess. Oh, now it's hair time. I am passionate about my hair. Mostly because I grew up getting told to cut it off all the time. And I got really sick of it, so in, like, in order to spite people that told me that, I just grew it out longer. And now it's a part of me and I can't let it go. <laughs> Even if like I don't always like like having this long hair, but it just it's just me at this point. Like I'm Oh god. Could you imagine like bold Leonora? Oh. Oh yeah, you can get Goku. Space warrior hair. Yeah, that's um it's good for copyright reasons. You can't call it Goku hair, obviously. Fucking it's not. You've got a luscious Bald Fjallbre- I can't imagine that. You got a luscious, bountiful set of hair. You'll be fine, I think. This is kind of me right now. This is... I don't know, I'd be annoyed with that much hair, but it's very pretty, so I'm torn. Should I just go Goku hair? Should I go with the Goku hair? I think I might go with the Goku hair. And be like... This is kind of my color. And then we go hard eyes. Hello, I'm happy to see you. <laughs> Good lord, this is terrible. Like, I could sit all day just fucking about in creators like this. When I was younger, I played Spore a lot for this very reason. Like, I just love messing around with the creature creator of Spore. Just creating weird shit. I think I'd be kind of tired, but like, not sad. Just kind of like... It's a bit cheeky. Some wide eyes. Do I do wide eyes? I would just look kind of sus. Might get voted out. Uh, now everyone's looking sus to me. Now you know what? Yeah, I think this is me. I mean, I'm like, I'm a, I'm a chill dude. I'm a chill dude. Okay. This is, this is Dad Lenora. Chill. Nose. What's my nose like? Like, I, in my family, we all have, like, very characteristic noses. Like, all my siblings and both of my parents have, like... Like, my mom kind of have, like, this kind of thing. And then that's kind of my sister. And that's probably my dad. And then my brother has, like, just probably this. Because he's had a lot of accidents, <laughs> unfortunately. He's fine. He looks great. Looks better than me, actually. 
I'm a bit jealous, uh, but I think I have... What nose do I have? I think I'm gonna go with this nose. It's not very pointy, it's a bit like squishy, I think. I don't know, it doesn't matter. Oh, mouths, this is good. Now look at me, I'm a hard ass with lipstick. Lipstick hard. I actually look really badass. I don't think I've ever been this badass in my entire life. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think I wanna do. Oh, I can do like a blue. A little blue lipstick. I like that. I can do that. That's a bit luscious. Like I have pretty. I have kind of a big mouth. Like I can do this. Boo, 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 boo. I think you're just gonna go with something like that. No, absolutely not. No, maybe. Uh, that looks like the mouth of someone who caused me to get fired once. <laughs> Tongue out mouth. This is just pervy. I will be very, very decent, very proper. I'm just gonna smirk. I'm gonna do the uh, the. This is uh, Nat Dormer mouth here, like. Because Natalie Dormer smirks as if she knows exactly when the world is gonna end. Uh, Danny Brows. All oh, right, the game grump. Brows and. Do, 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 do. I don't know about brows. I'm just gonna go with his normal brows. Facial hair. Oh, I can fuck about with this for hours. Would I get myself, like, a sexy moustache? Look at this. Look at this. Don't look at this. <laughs> oh, that looks... This makes me uncomfortable. I'm just not gonna do that. I'm just not gonna... Uh, glasses. Oh shit. Look like a... Look like the eye spider from the black stars there. The Althelas. I can't... It looks like a dude from Discord Murder Party. Um, gonna go with... Gonna go with... I want glasses. I like glasses. Glasses are cool. Go with these. They'll look nice. Piercings. What do we do? What do we do? Get a bridge piercing. Eyebrow. I want to. I want to be a cool dad. I'd be a cool dad. Now that looks like a cool dad to me with a cool piercing. Can you like a gamer. Yeah, I'd be a gamer dad. A, a burger shirt gamer dad. I actually kind of like that look. I might, I might settle for that look when I get older. <laughs> Danny clothes. Oh, yes. Badass tea. That looks kind of badass. Do you want a good meta horror uh, GBTQ podcast? Yes, I would love that. Please, like, if you got stuff for me to think about and see, right in the shade. I got a lot of spare time nowadays um, because I lost my job. <laughs> so, uh, flower tea, I like flowers. <gasps> okay, I think we found the one. We're going with the kitten soup. Like, if I'm going on a date, and I know we will be, I would want to look nice. And for a dad, with a statue like this and a posture like this, there's a suit that's gonna just frame that very nicely. I think that just generally looks very good. And that shirt is just fucking gorgeous, like... It's fucking brilliant. I like, I want this shirt in real life. It's, it's just great. But like, I don't know if I want that shirt. I want the person I'm dating to wear this shirt. So I can steal it. Oh my god, this is hard. 
What are we gonna call the dad? Oh, uh, this is hard. Um. Oh shit. I can't think of a I can't think of a name. Chat, help me. Jonathan Sims. Yes, absolutely. We good? <laughs> no, it says Chad. Chad Sims? Jonathan? Can I do like... Chad? Oh, I'm trying to write. I can't... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to sell for Jonathan. I'm sorry, I just don't have that Chad uh, chin. I, I just... I just can't. I'm gonna have to sell for Jonathan. Be that dad. Be that dad. You see, I'm a dad. I'm not a Chad. I'm a dad. <laughs> Did you fall asleep packing? I got most of it done, I think. Searching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except for one. Wait, straggler. What's in it? Looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos in little photo albums. Photo album. I, I pronounce shit weirdly. I'm foreign. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Whoa, I haven't seen these in years. I pull out one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile and we begin looking through it. Now that's a cool looking baby. Ah. <laughs> That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. I said so. I said so. Look at that. Look at that baby. Living her best life. Tongues out, she don't give a fuck. I like that. Oh. No, see, this this is kind of interesting. We get to decide the backstory, I think, through through these cards. That's kind of clever. I like that. That's like a cool way to like structure your story. That's cool. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna get to like the only way your father and I, the only way your mother and I. Mm. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm gonna be a dad that's gonna be dating other dads. I, I'm a dad that's into dads. That's simply the way it be. And I, I guess, I guess it's wish fulfillment in a way, because don't we all wish we could have like being a nice, trusting relationship with a daddy type, with a kitten shirt? Or is that just me? Maybe. But hey, we're here to dream. Dream of daddies. The only way your father and I could get you to stop crying was to put the sunglasses on you. But whenever we tried to take them off, you'd start crying again. You spent the two years of your life with sunglasses on. See? Sunglasses. I haven't grown since I was two years old. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Nice. Halloween, when you were, you were maybe four? Oh my god, that dragon costume. You couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon, so you went with both. Princess Dragon. I feel like that would be a thing from like She-Ra or something. I'd watch that. Like Princess Dragons. Mm. Why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside of a dragon's mouth with a real... What the... Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a, was a realization of your greatest fear, I think. Hmm. Right, yep. Definitely repress that memory. And this was you in your horse face. Oh yeah, that's a horse girl, alright. Wow. Ever since uh, I started playing Civilization VI and like just one trip ponying Tomiris, I have had a new level of respect for horse girls. They possess a power that mankind was not meant to know. We 
can never understand it. He's a cute kid. She looks happy. I like that. Dad! He doesn't look happy. I believe you named that plush horse Sir Horsington the Brave. That's a lovely name for a plush. I want a plush. I can show off my plush. I want to show off my plush. Right here. This is my seal. He's my partner in crime. I call him... I don't know what I call him. If you can, like, make up a good name for my, uh, for my pet seal, for my pet chunky seal, I would be very grateful. You got my seal of approval. Get out of here! Get out of here with your puns! I see right through you. I don't think that was his. Amanda lunges for the photo, but I quickly snatch it away and hold it above her head with my superior dad arms. I like that phrase, superior dad arms. Well, I wish I had superior dad arms. Chad says I should name it Shad. Shad the Chunky Seal. Say hello to Chad, everybody. Shad? Say hello to Shad. Hi, Shad. I'm Chad. See, it's funny because it's a, yeah, you get it. Uh, yeah. Nice try, but this is important blackmail for later down the road. Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you in your ska band. Ouch, kid. Hey, that's the tongue out again. She is chic as fuck. Ah. The Scamunist Manifesto had a chance back in the day. It's a great name for a ska band. I'm gonna start a ska band. I look off into the distance and reminisce about that rad horn section. There is something about a rad horse section, horn section, horse section, a rad horn section that can just get you places, you know? Like a saxophone solo. Like, I think like, the, like instruments you use with your mouth, which like you blow in like horns and like trumpets and shit, they make up the best solos. I don't know why, that's just how it be. Hey, it's Emma P. Aww. No, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Am I getting a southern accent? I don't know. I don't know accents. I'm English. Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing those two up. Ugh. Dad, Emma R has been my best friend since I was seven. Give it like a little bit of effort. Oh right, Emma P was the one who... Oh, we're making backstory again. Okay, cool. Uh, tried to steal people's pets. It's a dick move. Fired a flaming tennis ball at the police station. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, but a bit weird. Pooped her pants during a sleepover. I like the flaming tennis ball. Lighter fluid, tennis ball, tennis racket, right? Dad, that was you. <laughs> All right, I was a wild child. I was six. <laughs> His dad got that thirteen twelve energy right there. Yeah, fuck the police. Okay, Amanda, I wasn't that mean for the police station. It just happened that there was a police station in the vicinity of where I wanted to hit a flaming tennis ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just soup for my family. That's what I'm trying to say. Aww. Yeah, I remember you explaining that to the police. Yeah, they didn't believe me. <laughs> it's soup! I was- I got it from the clothes store. And it's for my family. <laughs> am I mixing up the memes? Making it unfunny? Yes, I am. Anyway, I've got to show this to MR later. She'll get a kick out of it. I think we should take more, like, physical pictures and put them up on walls and shit. I think that's nice. 
Hey, it's the first photography award you ever won. Huh. Yeah, and it got us a $20 gift card to make Fridays. Hey. And then you got food poisoning from the cheesy tostada blasts. I think you mean food poisoning, you know, with a Z. Ugh. And that soup! Yes. I have a friend in here in Yuma who has a Polaroid printer for his digital camera. It is a blessing. Really? That's amazing. I want a Polaroid printer. I'm gonna go steal one. Right after a fire flaming tennis ball at the police station. Still can't pa drive past McFridays without gagging. Still proud of you, though. Amanda reaches down into the box and pulls out one last photo. Hmm. Oh. Oh, it's the dad. Like, her other dad. So I'm guessing that was like... I'm guessing uh, there wasn't like a divorce or anything, like the dad is dead, I'm guessing. Uh. I finally decide to break the silence, yeah. Is she born or adopted? She were born. It's kind of a funny story. We got into a car accident right there in the hospital parking lot. It wasn't anything big, just a fender bender, but of course I was freaking out, and the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out, and I didn't know what to do. But your father, oh man, he holds my hands and looked me directly into the eyes, calmest I've ever seen him. He says, it's okay, it's all gonna be okay. Aww. I was right, you know. I stare at the picture for longer, maybe too long. This is. Oh, this is heavy. Man, I don't look sad. I can't bear that. Okay, we gotta progress the story. I can't bear to look at Amanda, like, look at Amanda when she's sad. Or, like, no, that's not it. I just. I don't want Amanda to be sad. She's my kid. I gotta take care of my kid should take care of your kids, it's important. I can't even imagine what it would not... I can't even imagine what it would be like for Amanda. Oh. She pats me on the back. Hmm. This game does a great job of putting focus on Amanda. Yes, I think of what I've heard and on, like understand from this game, like it's not just a fun meme game about you're a daddy and you're dating other daddies. It's actually like going into the, the pretty like important stuff about about fatherhood and, and things like that. And of course your child would be the center of that discussion. So yeah. Yes, I think so. It's gonna be the first priority. Like the, the children are important. That's gotta take center stage. They always gotta take stage. That's just that's how you ensure your kid grows up healthy, you know. Come on, pops, we gotta finish packing. The moving wa van won't wait forever. We got a moving van? That's nice. You're right. Hmm. Getting this music? dope. <laughs> Amanda and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. So many memories here. Hard to believe your father and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. Wow, it's been a while, hasn't it? Hmm. Hey, remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? You always have very strong arms. Ah. Hey, remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? You were a very imaginative child. Hey. Oh, I wonder where 
this is going. Hey, remember when I broke the back window? <laughs> we get it, Amanda. You break stuff. Ah. And there'll be plenty more stuff for me to break in the new in the new place. I am falling over on my words. Is that an English uh, equivalent to that expression? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm messing up. That's what I'm trying to say. Memories to make and stuff to break. Oh. You ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I watched my daughter grow up in this house. It will forever hold a place in my heart. But it stings a little bit to leave it behind. I'm ready. The moving van begins to pull away. And I get the car into position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear in the rear view mirror. So... So what? Mm -hmm. So sell me on our new cool pad. Our cool new pad. I clear my throat and do my best cheesy announcer voice. Nestle in beautiful scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features... Washer and dryer hookups, two car garage, multiple places to sleep. Multiple places to sleep! Not only are there bedrooms for your sleeping pleasure, but couches and floor space where you can, yes, catch a wink. What a deal. I mean, if sleep weren't for the week. You sleep more than anyone I know. Hmm. I admit my fault, Pops. I keep it real. That's good. That's very mature of you, Amanda. Anyway, so it's also uh, smaller than our last house. Cozier one might argue. Good spin. I think it's great. Won't we be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to? So I don't have to uh, waste gas? And I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know... Uh... Amanda, you know you're gonna have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? I can't fucking drive. <laughs> By the way. Oh, my disappointment. Uh, not gonna happen, Pops. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their attitude. Ah. I don't think I know how to do that either. Oh, girl, same. Have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet, but the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. Mm -hmm. Hey, good luck. Got driving lessons tomorrow? Gonna do fine. So I won't have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn? You are the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. Huh? I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. Yeah, you're a real. Uh. Don't you dare. Senior. Uh. Dad, I know where this is going. Citizen. Hmm. I'm just gonna ignore that. <laughs> oh, look at her. She looks a bit goofy. I love her. I love Amanda. And I love the dad character. And I love every character. And I love this game. I don't know why I have never played it, I like, through and through. Should've done this way, way ago. So, what's item number one in the new house agenda? Well, first we'll need to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. I still have to install the washer and dryer. We need to go grocery shopping. Pops, cool your jets. You have to promise me that we're gonna take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay, you're right. Get some work done and then check the area out. Some new music. That's a bit like Doki Doki Literature Club kind of vibe, doesn't it? It's kind of similar. We pull up to the new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly mown and the for sale sign is still in the yard. Hiya! And with 
With a swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Rest in rip. There are no Doki elements in this game, I promise. Nice form, sweet pea. I got a problem with authority! Yeah, let's make some soup. I'm so proud. <laughs> I feel like these, uh, this family is just a bunch of anarchists. I like that. Man, all that karate shopping tuckered me out. No, no, so <clears throat> It's a man. I have to go to bed. Got a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. Pasper. Pasper de ma. So, so good. Night, night. Man, all that karate shopping tuckered me out. I could really go for a sandwich. Huh. An ice cream sandwich. Sweetie. It's 10 a.m. I'm not gonna unpack, that's boring. Do we go for coffee or do we go for dogs? I'm getting coffee. I gotta get my hands on some night hope of the old bean juice or I'm gonna be useless all day. No dogs? What, you don't like dogs? I love dogs. We don't deserve dogs. They're too good for us. But I still want them. I think we passed a coffee shop on the way here. Maybe we can check that out. Let's do it. But we gotta go see the dogs too, right? I hope we do get to see the dogs too. I wanna see the dog. We walk down the street to the coffee spoon, a cute little place on the corner. Fuck, the music in this game is good. I never noticed, like, but... All right. It's all bopping. Man, this is such a convenient walking distance from our place. I mean, I guess. Mm. What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere and drink coffee from a couch when I could just drink better coffee at home on my couch and not have to make awkward eye contact with other people? At least when I'm home, some random guy isn't gonna come up and sit on the recliner next to me and I won't feel like a little weird about it because technically he's not sitting at my table but he's very much within my personal zone. Dad. And what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you go set it up on the counter because you don't know where else to put it? Or do you leave it there and feel your face flush hot with shame as you consider the possibility that there is in fact a bin somewhere and just out of sight and now you're that jerk who left their mug? Dad? Dad? Are you just afraid to meet new people? Yes, Amanda! We walk inside. <laughs> Where are you going tonight? Oh, you're the best. I love you. Sleep tight. Thank you for coming, Jake. I'll see you around. Mwah. We walk inside. Hmm. I love it too. It's fucking fills me with joy. Sleep well, friend. Love you lots. And I gotta talk to you soon. The inside of the coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. Vinyl... Vinyl? Vinyl records lie in the wall and patrons lounge around on well-worn in couches. Some cool tunes spin on the record player next to a little stage. Hey. Welcome to the coffee spoon, guys. How's it going? No, oh god, I gotta go do a new... Gotta, I gotta do a voice for Matt. Hey, it's Matt! Matt is so fucking sexy. Seriously, look at him. Oh my god, I want him. He's probably like the best looking dad of the bunch, like honestly. 
you haven't seen the uh, others yet, but mm, Matt, look at those tats. Look at his hair. Look at his smile. Look at his cute eyes. I, just, mm. I like Matt. Welcome to the coffee spoon, guys. How's it going? What's with the name? Hey. Oh, it's uh, it's uh, kind of dumb. Oh. It gets mentioned in this poem I like, and I thought it was a good idea at the time, and I suppose now it's still a good time. Uh, 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 as it gets mentioned in this poem I like, and I thought it was a good idea at the time, and I suppose it's still a good idea now because like the business is still running. But people ask me that question all the time, and I give them this same answer every time. Now I'm standing here rambling, and I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable. And the more I keep talking, but man, we're in it now, and I can't stop. Is a mark in this game? So I don't know. This feels like a very Markiplierish game. Like pretty much every character, you could just do like a Markiplier impression. For their voice lines. Except for Amanda. Ah, fuck it, you could do it with Amanda too. Hmm. So what'll it be? Ah. I scan the chalkboard menu and I am immediately overwhelmed. I'll have a uh, cowboy bean book. Oh, Godspeed you black coffee, iced tea beans. Uh, I don't know, this one looks like coffee. You're not into math? Well, more for me then. Classic. I don't get it. Oh, it's a pun. Godspeed you, Black Emperor is a really amazing and influential progressive rock band known for their sweeping soundscapes and... I'm doing the thing again. But coming right up. And for you? I'll have a macchiato de marco, please. Hey. Coming right up. Do you want that in small, medium, or big or small? Uh, medium? Huh. What's big or small? Is, is that big or small? You seem so insecure. Yeah. You seem insecure, but I am too. And I guess I'm into having someone who just like to cuddle up together and be scared of the world <laughs> sometimes. I don't know, it'd be fine. It'd be fine. I could make him some nice coffee. I need someone strong-willed. Well, you got someone, don't ya? I should change that, shouldn't I? Matt sets to making our drinks and Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches. What's his deal? What's his deal? the man make his puns. They're cooler bands than you listen to anyway. Ouch! <sighs> Look at that. Amanda, she knows. She... <sighs> Fucking roasting me like that. Hey! Scar was cool once. <sighs> was it though? Was it though? Jonathan? My boy. I'm sorry, but Ska was never cool. Ska is not about being cool. It's about being fucking amazing. Ska has never been cool. It's still a great fun to like listen to, but like, I don't know. I, I don't think it should be like the point of music to be cool. I don't know. Ska. Haven't heard it. It's kind of like punk mixed with um, brass sections. It sounds almost like, like circus music. I don't know. It's complicated. Just, I don't know. This couch is actually pretty comfy. Maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's alright. Good lumbar support. You sink right into it. Okay, it's comfier than our couch. Amanda nudges me. This place is right next to our house. And that guy seems not only cool, but also just as uncomfortable with talking to other people as you are. He's trying to get us together. 
You should totally become friends with him. Yes. Yes, I want to. Oh, I don't know. Come on, Jonathan. I believe in you. Come on, what do we say about meeting new people? I can't meet new people if I always stay inside and if I... And also don't go outside and also don't talk to people. See? We're making progress. Well, I feel like the character we're playing as is kind of like... Kind of, kind of insecure, kind of scared about things. Mana's confidence is so hot though. I don't know about hot, but I like it. I think she's a... She's a great person. Supporting her dad when he is insecure. I mean, that's a bit of a hard thing to do, isn't it? Like, generally a parent is supposed to be like the person that keeps you safe. So you getting to do that back, I feel like that's a powerful thing to do. I kind of like that. Like, family members being there for each other. So it's like these small details. Like, you don't see that a lot in media represented in an honest fashion. I kind of like that. <laughs> Go to Dream Daddy for the real shit, I guess. Matsu sets our drinks down at our table and I immediately burn at the roof of... And I immediately burn the roof of my mouth. Oh, I hate that. I hate when you burn the roof of your mouth. It's... Oh, dropped my keys. It's the worst. Like, if, if if you have a drink that you're really, really excited about. And you can't wait. And you burn the roof of your mouth. And now, like, the entire experience is just ruined. This is... That's just sadness to me. I don't know. Good one. Hi, we're new in the neighborhood. I'm Amanda and this is my dad, Jonathan. Oh, right on. Pleased to meet you both. You ought to come by when my daughter's hanging around the shop. You two might get along. I don't know what voice I'm doing for math. It's all over the place. I'm sorry, Matt. I failed you. Yeah, I'm sure we'll maybe come in from time to time. <laughs> and I kicks my leg from under the table. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. <clears throat> a lot. lot. We'll be in here a lot. Yes, to order coffee from you, Mr. Man. You know what? Let me get your guy's opinion or something. My voice is all over the place. Matt goes into the back and comes out with a fresh plate or something that smells amazing. Oh. I'm working on a new banana bread recipe and I need help coming up with a name for it. Well, I think we're gonna have to taste it. Ta to taste test it first so we can um, get the full flavor profile of, you know, and uh, really appreciate the flavor sensations of... Uh, Amanda nods vigorously. She knows this game. Yeah, we need to give that nana bread a taste if you want us doing free creative labor. I think that would be um, commensurate with... Um, um, I have taught her well. We have trained for this day. Yeah, so I was just gonna give you guys free banana bread anyway. Right, yes, that... <laughs> is on to you, Jonathan. I'm gonna run. That serves as each piece. Amanda and I happily chow down. Hey. I love banana bread. It's so good. Thanks. The secret ingredient is bananas. Hmm. So any ideas? I'm stumped. Ah hey. oh, shit, I did the British thing where you say banana instead of banana. But I haven't done a British accent for you. I don't care. Whatever. It's gonna be fine. Well, I think I might only be able to give you dad band puns, but I'll give it a shot. Banana bread Kennedy's. <laughs> Grateful banana bread. Right said banana bread. That's like right said Fred. I don't know what that is. That's like dead Kennedy's. I would have loved for it to be like electric banana bread. Because that's from a band that's actually got banana in their name. Uh, what can you do? Um, 
I like right said Fred. Right said banana bread. I like right said Fred. But now it's about banana bread. I think the youngsters would like it despite not getting it. But I think you're not. Uh, come on. I'm too sexy is a classic. All the youngsters know it. You know it. You know it. Was in the. Um, Uh, Shrek Got Talent uh, special thing where the DVD, you did that thing, right? You did that thing. You know, right, said Fred. You did. I believe in you. That actually has a nice ring to it. Really? Hey. Yeah. Right, said Banana Bread. Strong decisions. That's art, baby. I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool, but once I said it, I realized that it just doesn't sound good and coming out of my mouth, and maybe I should just leave saying baby to the uh, professionals. Oh, you can say baby. Hey. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks, baby. Hey, See, it sounds good when you say it. Oh, they're all all—they're already getting a little bit flirty here. They're getting a bit flirty over here. Oh, what's this? Across the way, a man catches my eye. He sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet just for a moment. Oh, that's a sexy boy too. Hello. He's gonna look at me like that? Like... I wonder if he thinks I'm sus. hastily look away, hoping it didn't catch me staring. Who's that? We finish up our drinks and head out. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay, now they're... Okay, now that we're full of caffeine, where to? Uh, perhaps this is a good way to stop it for now. gonna go ahead and save and uh, we're gonna leave this stream for here right now um, it's getting a bit late where we are here it's getting very late actually thank you so much for catching up with me tonight I hope to be able to continue doing this pretty soon and uh, Thank you for coming. Um, yeah. Tune in next time for more Dream Daddy. Uh, do like, uh, you can do the thing where you follow me on uh, on Twitch. I'm probably also gonna upload this uh, on YouTube, on my channel. Uh, I may edit some things, I don't know. Um, all right, cool. I love you all very much, and uh, thank you, Meiva-san, for sticking around with me until the end of the night. You are one brave soul to venture into the realm of Dream Daddy. Love you too. Hey, I'll see you soon, okay? We got it. I'm just bopping to this music now. Looking at Matt. And he's looking at me. It's a good time. Night-night. <laughs>